If you hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Ink Dependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is a new pin from Lamy. I just got this in uh, over the weekend, and I finally put ink in it. And I feel like we need to talk about it real quick, because it is pretty cool. So, it comes in this nice packaging. We'll throw that over here. Uh, it comes in further packaging. You see, it doesn't really have the name on here. It has like a model number, and then PD Medium, and that's actually about the pen. So, let's get in here. It has this nice little piece of foam, I guess, to keep it from rattling around. Has the pen on this little platform. Underneath the platform, you get a blue Lamy cartridge. These cartridges are perfectly fine. This ink is is totally fine. It's not my favorite. I don't usually use those cartridges, but uh, no problem. Kind of gotta get it in the middle because this does have little ears on the side. They love ears at Lamy. There we go. Put that in there. Good. Okay. So this is the pen. This is the Lamy Idios. Idios? I'm gonna go with Idios. I D E. OS, uh, which is a brand new fountain pen from Lamy. It incorporates a bunch of different, like, ideas from other pens. It definitely looks like a Lamy to me. Uh, and some people have said, like, oh, it's a parts bin pen or something. And I don't feel like that's accurate at all. It's got a whole different sort of thing going on. So, there's a little tag that comes out of the clip. Again, doesn't say Edios on it anywhere. It just says Palladium or PD and M. So it's a medium nib and this is the palladium finish. As far as I know, it actually only comes in palladium. That's what it says on the Lamy site and I trust them. Okay, so outwardly, you can see this pen has a teardrop shape and the clip is mounted on the side of the uh, the side of the cap. I think that's pretty cool. I actually really like that bit of asymmetry. I mean, they could have put it on the back here, but, but I, I like it on the side here. I think it's pretty good. It is a nice clip. It's got a nice mirrored finish on it. It is, of course, going to pick up fingerprints or whatever, which you can just fix that by going like this. Uh, they do also say you can engrave this clip. I obviously haven't done that. Has a little bit of Lamy uh, branding right there. This clip is hinged, so it goes like this. I imagine it's going to be a perfectly fine clip, although I haven't had an opportunity to go anywhere. I just got this a couple of days ago. Uh, so, nice clip. I like it. It's uh, like one piece. What does it say underneath? It says Germany. <laughs> underneath the clip. You can just barely make it out. It's actually, there you go. Just under there. It just says Germany. That's all. Moving down the barrel, you do have the seam here where the cap meets the body. There's no, there's no rattle. I'm holding it up to the microphone. No rattle at all. You did have a little bit of a rattle with uh, pens like the Aeon, which you can totally hear <laughs> as I shake it near the microphone, uh, which has a, you know, a snap cap sort of situation. This is also a slip cap, but it fixes that rattling problem very well. Uh, moving down, you find a little black uh, a ridge right here along the back of the pen, and then two little ears here. And this is for posting the pen if you want to. You can post this pen. I think it gets too long, and so I haven't tried that really. So taking off the cap, you just pop it like that. It's not super stiff, but does have a nice snap when you put it back on. Uh, and uh, the uh, the cap comes off like this. So you can see there is a little screw in the back holding on that that uh, the back of the pen there. And you see it's not gonna roll away, not just because of the clip, but because of this teardrop shape that they carry through the whole pen, including, I was happy to find out, the section. So this is actually what sold me on this pen, uh, was that the section has this like ridge. It actually looks kind of like the dorsal fin uh, that you get on like fancy Nakayas. That dorsal fin look where it kind of goes up like this, like a dolphin or something. Uh, sort of streamlined. It's not all the way out to the, the very front of the section, which is totally fine. But it does go all the way back. And this, while it is a shiny section and will pick up fingerprints for sure, um, it gives your fingers a place to sort of sort of pinch right there. And uh, I've written a little bit with this and it doesn't really, it doesn't really want to twist in your grip like a, a slippery pen well. That's my problem with slippery pen sections is they want to like twist all over the place. But this one with this nice teardrop pinch doesn't want to do that, which is pretty cool. I, I like that. It also means that when you put the cap on, you do need to align it correctly. Because if you try putting it on like this, it's just not going to work. You're probably just going to scratch up your section or something and that's not very good. You don't want to do that. So just align, uh, just line up these, the peaks. It's actually very easy. And then it snaps back on. So, no problem there. Okay. It does use the same nib design as the Ion, which is a little bit rounder than the nib design on, say, the Safari or the All Star. You can see there, it's got those round edges on it. I like the look of this nib a lot. I think it looks very cool. It uses the same sort of slip on, slip off nib section or nib um, 
uh, arrangement that you get on the other Lamy pens in this range, like the Safari, the All-Star, and the Ion. So there you go. Now, opening up this pen, uh, I didn't know this was going to happen. I thought this was kind of cool. You sort of give it a twist. That's as far as you twist it right there. And then it pulls straight out. So instead of having threads here, it uses these little tabs and ears. And then there is a matching track on the inside. How cool is that? So when you put it back together, you just match those up, twist it, and it snaps very nicely. Snap. Uh, I think it's really, I think that's really good. And it is, it is a firm lockup. Like there's no, there's no play here. It's, it's serious. So there you go. All right. So nice barrel. These are made of brass with a palladium like anodization or some such over the top of it. And then you have your uh, converter or you can use your cartridge. Uh, like I said, I don't really use the cartridges that much. I like to use converters. That's my jam. Now, here's the thing about converters. So Lamy pens like the Safari and the All-Star, when you take them apart, have these little cutouts right here. And so this the converter, which is the Z28 converter, has these little ears on the side of the converter. Also, it has a red piston knob. Makes it very easy to pull out of my box of uh, converters because, I mean, nobody else has that red piston knob and then it sort of seats in there and it's firm for, for good. It's not gonna move around or anything. This one, obviously you can't use that situation because there are no cutouts. Now, I think they could have just put cutouts in this. I don't really know why they wouldn't have done that. But that means that you have to use the other converter. This is the other converter that Lamy uses for the ion. In fact, this is the converter that came with my Ion. Uh, I only have one of them. This didn't come with a converter. It only comes with a cartridge. Uh, this is the Z27 converter, and you can see immediately that it is different from the uh, from the other. It has the same you know capacity and all that jazz, but it has a black piston knob instead of the red, which means it's a little harder to pull out of your box of converters because it blends in. And notably, it doesn't have any little ears. So you actually can't use the ears one in here because it kind of bumps up against the side. Now, I guess you could shave one of the, shave these off if you wanted to. I, I haven't bothered, but everything else is the same except for the ears, as far as I can tell. Uh, and you just kind of poke this in there and you're good. Now, it doesn't have that extra security of having little ears that hold it in and snap it in place, but feels pretty feels pretty good to me. You can tug on it. It's not flying off of there or anything. So there we have it. That's the... Uh, also, I should say, if you put this on this way, it will only turn one direction to snap into the body. And wait, what happens if I do this? I guess you can mismatch that. You just have to match the, the, the cap to the section, not the section of the body. That makes it look wonky. Don't do that. <laughs> That's weird. And I don't like it. And I want to put it back the way it's supposed to go. There we go, right, like that. Good stuff. I am really happy with uh, with this pen on first impressions. So how does it write? Well, let's take a look. Get out my little testing sheet here. It writes just like the rest of the, uh, the Lammies with this style of nib, right, which is um, very well, albeit with a little bit of, uh, like it feels a little bit on the dry side. So put your wetter inks in here and you'll be just fine. This is the Lammy. I haven't had any hard starts or anything. I do have a, a very thin line on the L there, but keep in mind, I've been waving this around and taking pictures of it without the cap for a little while. And so that's actually pretty good. And by the end of the A, it was like, yeah, no boss, I'll totally write. No problem, no problem. This is a Leonardo ink in here. Leonardo, what is this one called? Uh, Scott uh, Brown. The uh, Leonardo inks run maybe a little bit on the wet side, perhaps. Uh, and this this is perfect for this pen. I was hoping this would write really well on this pen, and it 100% does. It doesn't have any problem keeping up with writing. I haven't done a whole lot of writing. This is almost a first impressions video, uh, but also just kind of a review because, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so size-wise, where does it fit? Uh, let me put these in here, like it is. Bam. Uh, it's about the same size as other pens in this range. It's a little bit longer than the uh, than the eco pretty much identical to the uh, the ion a i o n is how that's spelled that was uh, one that came out a few years ago and um it's it's only okay i don't i don't love the ion but i really do like the edios i think it's very good uh so let's take off some caps and see how just the raw pin lengths compare this is of course using the lamy safari and the twisby eco as comparisons there you go. So, 
shorter than the Ion, which is actually, I think for this nib, it's kind of a beast. <laughs> so one of the weird things with the Ion is it feels like the nib is really small compared to the girth of the body, which I like, but I think <laughs> I think this nib is just too small. Like this doesn't fit that pen. However, on the Edeos, it absolutely fits, just as it does with the Eco and the, uh, the Lamy Safari. No problems at all. Same lengths as these. So if you like the way these feel, you're going to like the way this feels, I think, in terms of, you know, length of pen. All right. Put these caps back on. Uh, this has been uh, the Lamy Edeos, which I bought from a uh, this crazy Black Friday sale uh, at Endless Pens, and um, so I got this for around 50 bucks, which was, at that price, a total no-brainer. The street price for this otherwise is going to be, it looks like online, $111, although I know uh, that there are some shops that will have it for a little bit more or a bit less. Uh, I've heard it um, sold it as low as 100 bucks, and I think for 100 bucks, this is still quite a good pen. I never wanted to get one of the Lamy Studios, which is one of the pens that this has some, some things um, uh, like incorporated from like the very shiny section and all that, because it's such a, like a round and um, slippery section. This one uh, is mirror finished, but it doesn't feel slippery. It feels it feels good. And I can kind of put my thumb against the seam here, and then it's absolutely not going to move. And it feels really nice in the hand. Plus, it's got a unique shape. It's got a good clip. Uh, it's got a nice nib that you can change out for whatever other nib you want, as long as it's you know these Lamy ones. I I, I bet you could put a Safari nib on there, although I haven't tried, obviously. So, uh, yeah, really cool. You'll find these uh, in stores uh, coming up soon. They seem to be out of stock in a lot of places right now, but uh, I think they're supposed to be coming in stock very soon. So I'm glad I was able to get my hands on this and show it to you because... Um this is pretty cool. Let me know what you think about this unique pen in the comments. It does have some design ideas from like the Studio and the CP1 and uh, some CP1, that seems right to me, uh, and maybe a few others that I'm forgetting, but, uh, and of course the Ion with like this, this, this kind of finish, although this one's got like a, this has got like a sort of a raw machine finish, and this has got more of a palladium anodized finish, but uh, I dig it. I think this is neat. So there you go. That's all I got to say about it. I will see y'all uh, later on in the next video. Uh, peace out. <laughs>